Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to save offline maps in your Google Maps app. I'm using today an iPhone 6 with the latest iOS as November 15. I think it's the iOS 10, and um, I'm using the latest version of Google Maps. So let's uh, start Google Maps, and as you can see, I just open here Map of Europe, which is where I'm living in. And the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because this is an amazing feature. I I was looking in other apps, but I found that Google Maps does it perfectly. Um, I knew this was possible, but finally I I had the chance to to use it in my, on my latest trip to Ireland, and it was amazing. So what you do? Just um, log in. Be sh make sure that you log in into your Google Maps account within your app. You can log in as many accounts as you want. And uh, here, uh, as you can see, this is the map of um, Ireland, and um, I am zooming in. I am currently online, as you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so I can see everything in the city of Dublin. And what I did before the trip, I, I planned a trip, and I started saving places. So I did a small research on the things to do in Ireland, and I started saving places, and it's very easy. Just click on, on the location. And then you save it here. With start, you can start in place. It's easy as that. And then on the map, uh, you can see all your locations with the little stars, even if you zoom out as much as you do. You know? So in order to save it, what I what you do is you want to save the perimeter you're going to use it because otherwise it's going to use a lot of memory. So what I did, I just uh, zoom, you know, as far. And the perimeter of all the places I wanted to visit. So I was going to be around central Dublin, which is basically this. And then once you have this, you go into the menu and you scroll here to your places. It's uh, it's in the upper part of the menu, you know. Go to your places, and then here you can see you know the places you are. So here's my home, work, all the places I have saved and some maps I have saved these are maps you know custom made maps I did in Japan when I was living there so you scroll down you know to the button and you see offline maps so here you can save offline maps for when your network connection is slow or unavailable this is great when you're traveling because data plans are usually expensive so here is the, the map I previously uh, zoomed out which is a map of Dublin with all the locations you confirm that's the location. You can also, you know, edit the placeholder or the location, you know, and then you download. So then you save the name. I will save it Ireland trip and save. As you can see, it's saving everything. The cool thing about this is that it will save, you know, down to the detail. You know, so I'm going to go offline now. So here are my places. I want to be able to see my map. Let's see. It's still not updated, but I'll I'll hear this. So I am going to disconnect my Wi-Fi and show you how cool it is. So I have no connection now, and uh, the offline map is saved up to you know the street detail. This is enough for your trip, you know. You don't even have to go to your places and check. You know, I have no internet connection, and I can see the map. You don't have to go all the way down here to see the map. It will automatically show up. So, for example, if I go to a place in Ireland I didn't save, for, for example, let's see, Belfast. Or, you know, some, some big city around here. Let's see. Belfast. You know, I don't see any detail here because I didn't save the map. I'm offline, so, you know, when, when you don't have map saved, you will see, you know, just the 
the general you know geographical map but no detail no granularity so it's same here same thing here in, in the UK Manchester I don't see anything but when I go to Dublin because it's saved I can see all the granularity of course I won't be able to see the details here of my places because I will need too much data but I can I can do I can use the map I can you know trace routes you know how to go to a place and everything all that will work offline and it's amazing it's really cool so this is very useful when 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 traveling when you don't have a data plan even when you even in, in the city you live in even if you have a data plan having this will help a lot you know in um, giving you faster connections and everything uh, I highly recommend it so here uh, as you can see it also saves it temporarily so for 30 days actually and it tells you the amount of information it's using so this will self-destroy in, in 30 days and um, and it will tell you the amount of storage it's using it's very little storage it's using you can even delete it here yeah if you you know you just want to uh, open up space for you for your free up space on your on your iPhone drive just delete it from here so yeah this is the, the great feature for Google Maps you know they keep surprising us with with amazing stuff uh, no need to use any other downloadable app from the App Store I think with this one is enough to have everything and uh, yeah let me know if you have any questions um, comments or anything drop me a line through YouTube and see you next time cheers